Okay, I will tell you a story. But from the beginning, from his first mission. By that time, he wasn't the legend as you know him. He was just a rookie. One soldier of many. And he had no idea what lies ahead. A few days ago, we sent one of our agents to outer heaven. A secret military base located in South Africa. There was a high probability that a new kind of weapon was being developed there and Foxtown was asked to investigate. Everything was going fine until a few hours ago when we lost contact with our man inside. However, right before we lost contact he mentioned a phrase, Metal Gear. Recon the area, use any means necessary and find out what Metal Gear really is. Also, if the opportunity presents itself, rescue our agent who went missing. What's his name? Grey Fox. The Grey Fox? Yes. Why are you sending me in? I'm just a rookie. You were trained by Master Miller, and that's why I trust you. The area is not covered by our satellite, so we won't be able to help you. It's a one-man mission, and from now on, your codename will be... Solid Snake. Outer Heaven, an armed nation with the possibility of having nuclear weapons. A perfect mission for Young Snake who just finished his training in Pumza. One man against the odds. Can he succeed? This only company where the planes are taken through the borders. From this moment, he wasn't safe anymore. He knew it. He knew what's in stakes and he knew the only things he can rely on are his gun, his knife and his train. The drop off point is closer and closer. He prepares for the inevitable. Snake here. Everything is planned? Drop off okay. Impact a bit tougher. The easiest way to the base should be the sewers a few miles south of you. Good luck, Snake. Soon, he had found Grey Fox's pressure, assuring him that he's at the right place. Few sewers, like a rat, not a snake. Following the light at the end of the tunnel. What is waiting there for him?
Johnny Sasaki, Johnny Sasaki, please come in, come in. Still nothing. Couple of killed soldiers, but nothing that would get him closer to finishing this mission. But then, from a high point, he saw a base. What a shame to get so far and then die so fast. I admire your persistence, Kyle. But if you hadn't been so stubborn, your family could still be alive. I had no choice. You would kill them anyway. There's always a choice. Don't even think about it. Drop it! I was about to say the same thing. You know what to do. Start with who you are. Kyle Schneider. I built this place. So you belong to Outer Heaven. Just the other side. And what about you? Your folks out there. Solid snake. I belong to the Heaven Resistance. We're investigating Go to Heaven. The replacement for a great fox, hmm? You know him? A few days he cooperated with us, but then he was probably captured. I think it has something to do with the thing developed here. The weapon should change the face of this. We should move. Kyle, come in. Huh? Calm down, snake. It's Diana. Nice to meet you, Snake. Did I scare you, or what? No. Just surprised that a woman with such a nice voice knows something technical. I knew much more. Trust me. That's enough. We have work to do. Whatever. You know something about the leader of Outer Heaven? Nobody knows his real name. Nobody has ever seen him. The only information we have is from secret records. To be exact, from parts of these records. In the 60s, one of the best agents of CIA began a career as a mercenary. His last mission was sometime between 64 and 69. In the 70s, he was a part of some super secret project for the states. Since then, nothing. Until now. What about his code name? In fact, he had two. Saladin and Naked Snake. Naked Snake? I knew you'd be surprised. Coincidence. Maybe Snake. You should know his base is guarded by some of the world's best mercenaries. Shotgunner and Machine Gun Kid. You know Snake. I wasn't always a member of Resistance. I used to be an architect. Architect? Yeah, and damn good architect. I built banks and casinos with the best security systems. One day, I was asked by Shotgunner to design and build an impregnable base. I refused. It was obvious what kind of base it would be. But the price for my refusal was high. Shotgunner kidnapped my family. So I had no choice. I built all the heaven. He promised he'd let them go. Since then, I'm trying to destroy this base the same way I created. You said they probably captured Grey Fox. If so, where would they take him? There is a prison a few miles to the north. Thanks for the help. Snake here. Speak. I'm at the prison. Got any tips on the safest way inside? There's no safe way, but I guess the best will be the roof. You should get there by climbing the guest tanks by the northern wall. Thanks.
I hope you'll thank me for the vest. Take him to the south. And take all his clothes. Once again, like a rat. Dirty in a stinky hole. Naked snake. And when he thought his mission is over. It's useless. It's a hard and steel. Grey Fox? We all have our lamps. But none of them will tell you who you are or do that. I've been waiting for you. So it's Snake. You know me. It doesn't matter. What matters is for you to know the truth. The truth. I've infiltrated the Algorithm territory without any trouble. Two locals are. Schneider and Dan. I've already had the pleasure. I've been searching out the Heaven of Death for several days. They have no idea how big this place is. And I finally found something. A few miles from here is a secret laboratory where they keep scientists and experts in robotics. Man named Vatnar Petrovich. I've heard of him. It's said he's involved in the nanotechnology. He told me he is held here by force. They have kidnapped his daughter Ellen to make him create the reason why we are here. Metal Gear. It's a new really equipped tank capable of operating so in any environment. Its hull is protected by 5 inches of plate armoring and it can bear two ICBMs. For self-defense, it's mounted with machine guns, a rocket launcher and with the most sophisticated radar system. And it can be controlled by a single man. And what do they intend to do with that? Only the leader of Outer Heaven himself knows that, but there will be nothing good for sure. Any clue on who it is? That I won't tell you. Here we have to find Petrovich and find out how to restore Metal Gear before it's ready to operate. You will find him on the mountain a few miles southeast from here. You can't miss it. There's a large satellite in there. You won't help me. To understand, you have to go through this by yourself. Fox. What happened? We couldn't reach you. I've been captured, but I'm in my cell. And I've met Grey Fox. He told me about the Metal Gear. It's some kind of nuclear weapon. And if it gets on the market, it could be a world disaster. There should be a scientist who created it. And who probably knows how to destroy it, too. Where is Fox now? I have no idea. He just disappeared. He told me everything he knew, and then he vanished into thin air. 
His mission here is over, and he can't help you with yours, because it's only yours, and you have to finish it by yourself. It's his philosophy. I know that, because he has done the same to me once. I was angry then, but now I understand. He's the only one I trust, and my only friend. Snake, find that scientist and find out what he knows. Solid Snake, out. I had no idea there were women here. And I have no idea we have her on the way. Someone, the target has been eliminated. I hear you, Snake. I need to ask you something. Do you know if there's a woman in outer heaven? Absolutely not. Why? Just before I met you, I had seen somebody entering the base. I thought it was you, but I was wrong. I've encountered that person again. It was some girl, and she fought like a soldier. Jennifer, she was in a resistance. But when we lost her brother, she left and went search for him. He's alive? She believes so, and she thinks he held her. I'm not surprised. So she's not an enemy? No. Good luck with your mission. I need to go now.
Foxhound. Sorry, I didn't know which side are you on. By the way, your boss code. I spent some time as a nurse in outer heaven. It was a good cover. It's not easy to search for him alone, huh? Schneider told me. The man on that photo, is that your brother? Kyle said you'd never accepted it. It is death. A few years ago, everything was fine. Missions were tough, but we held together as a family. Kyle and Arnold led the resistance. They were like brothers. One could not live without the other. I was just a little girl. I used to wait for them at home to clean their wounds. One day, Kyle came back alone, without Arnold. He told us he was hit by a grenade. And what about you? Tell me, what is it like to be a spy? It's hard to describe. I've been prepared for this since my childhood. I guess it's in your family. I've been raised by many people. I don't have a real family. You must feel lonely. Sometimes. Tomorrow's gonna be a rough day. That's a pretty rich breakfast. <sighs> Just gathering some provisions. Don't you think that's already enough for both of us? Both of us? Yes, I hope you're not planning on leaving me here. So far, you've managed to survive on your own. Yeah, but that was in the base. I can defend myself, but I cannot survive in the jungle. Look, you just slow me down. I wouldn't, I promise. I have nowhere to return. Pack up your things and clean up the fireplace. We'll be leaving soon. So you were trained by Master Miller? That's true. I've heard he's one of the sharpest foxhound instructors. Maybe. But he's the best one for sure. 
at least in survival. Once he had me walking on red hot coals just so I'd run faster and get used to the pain. That must have been tough. It was. I couldn't stand on my feet for days after that. But maybe I wouldn't have survived yesterday if it wasn't for his drill. That's it. Don't celebrate yet. It's still a long way to the top. What a shame. Is there any chance we can get through this? It's time to change colors. You still have that gun? Wait here. I'll get another one. You really think this will work? Sure. The trick is becoming one of many. Just don't look at anyone's eyes and let me do the speaking. You too. Where the hell are you going? We've got a patrol up top. Really? I thought somebody's already there. And where are your guns? We'd like to go now. Just go, I get it. And tell your partner he's got a great buff. What did you tell him? What he wanted to hear. Leave me alone. I've done everything you wanted. Okay, this is over. You, you're here to kill me. Calm down. We're here to help you. No, I don't believe you. I know you. You've caused me enough pain already. We really don't want to hurt you. Trust me, please. Of course. Who would waste time with such an old wretch? You're Madnar Petrovich, right? Who are you and what do you want from me? I want you to tell me everything you know about Metal Gear. First, young man, you haven't introduced yourself. And second, when you need something, I should say please. Mr. Petrovich, my name's Jennifer and I'd like you to tell us everything you know about Metal Gear. Please? Why would you want to know that? We know it's a nuclear weapon. It has to be destroyed. And you're the only one who knows how to do that. So you certainly know why I've designed it. Your daughter. They're holding her hostage, am I right? Yes. Metal Gear is almost ready. But they want more and more projects. They won't let her go. Ellen is my everything. And I'd never forgive myself if something should happen to her. I'm sorry for your daughter, but my priority is the Metal Gear. 
tell me, where do I find it and how do I destroy it? All right, I'll tell you. But first, I want something in return. I want you to bring me back my daughter. Listen. Okay. We can't rescue some girl now. The Metal Gear could be unleashed any minute. Come on, Snake. If we don't rescue her, you won't tell us anything. And look at him. She's probably the only person that poor man has. <sighs> You're right. What is all this? My research, including Metal Gear, the one you're looking at is the blueprint for Project TX11. Originally, it was about creating the first artificial man, but my vision hasn't been realized because we don't have the technology yet. This is something different. It's a microchip, which would suppress all emotions memories, or even pain. And what is it for? That's obvious. It's... My goal is to make the human race immortal. In the future, we will be able to replace body organs with machines or to enhance the human memory. This chip will do that. And it'll also provide the creation of the super soldier. Fine. I'll bring your daughter back. And then you'll tell me everything you know. But you can't just leave us here. How do we get home? Certainly. Yep. Who are you? And who are you? Snake. Where's Diana? She has some work to do. I'm Steve, her boyfriend. A boyfriend? Problem? No, but I will need a lift off that mountain with the antenna on top. The one with Petrovich's lab. I think that's possible. Sure thing, mate. I'll be there in an hour. Okay, Steve. Alright, we've got a transport. All we have to do is rescue your daughter. Then we'll escort you both to resist his base. Is it okay now? Fine. Here. What's your status? Everything is planned. I found Petrovich. He agreed to tell me how to destroy the Metal Gear. As soon as I rescue his daughter... I'm afraid that won't be possible. Your mission ends with finding Petrovich. You will return to our base. I thought the mission ends with destroying the Metal Gear. Metal Gear is not a priority anymore. It will be taken care of. Your work here is done. You are going home. It's an order. Do you understand? With all due respect, sir, I serve people, not you. My mission is to protect my nation, and I won't just stand by and watch what'll happen. I'm your commander. Not anymore. Fine. Let's go, Jen. You're late. Hey, Steve. Jennifer, still alive and kicking. Kai was pretty angry when you left. There's nobody to make fun of him. Well, except for me. Jump in. You've got your daughter back. Let's talk about Metal Gear. Of course. Do you see it? What's that? That snake's heart. It seems small, but it reaches a thousand feet below the ground. Somewhere deep inside is Metal Gear. How do I destroy it? I doubt you'd stand a chance in a direct confrontation, but it's still only a machine. There are two ways to destroy it. The first is by using conventional weapons, 
but you'd need at least a rocket launcher. And a second way. Self-destruction order from the computer. But for that, you need a password which only the commander knows. Either way, you'll have to destroy the computer too. It contains all the construction data and blueprints. All right, I'll do whatever is in my power. Your heart is full of sins on its neck. I will purify it. I am the executor of his will. I cleanse the world of devils like you! I've got to warn you, kid. If you don't step aside right now... Damn! done to him. If you want to see your friend again, you'll have to come for him. Come on, Snake. You can run, Snake, but you can't Damn. hide. 
that boat. This is the only thing I have. It should be enough. This. Let's go. Cover me. Come on, Snake. Try this one. Still who gets it, do you? The soldier who knew about your coming. The disappearance of Grey Fox. The miraculous finding of all your gear. All happened exactly as I wanted it to. You are the commander of Outer Heaven. This place is my heaven. My dreams here come true. Dreams about terrorism? I wouldn't expect this a big boss. You're wrong, Snake. I am not, and I never was, a terrorist. It's not about killing, or about money. And about what exactly? About justice. You remember how I told you about that woman I had to kill? The government sent her on a mission which she wasn't supposed to survive. I should have ended her life, but she knew it well enough. She had to sacrifice herself, her dignity, and her pride for her country. Just to be remembered as a traitor. She was a true patriot, but for all the people, she's just a monster because the government withheld the truth. But they didn't know I'd find out about their lie, and that I'd swear I would avenge her. As years passed, I've built her out to heaven. Nobody knew about it. But then the CIA got some satellite images, and ironically, they asked Foxhound to investigate. I had thought that they would give up when Grey Fox was lost, but they didn't. So I've sent you Young and inexperienced. The plan was simple. To let you find Grey Fox, who would tell you about Metal Gear and Petrovich. That night you met Jennifer. I was about to send you home and tell the government that we'd found nothing. But when I spoke with her, I decided to let you continue the mission. If she had died, you would have got to know the pain I had lived in. Your mission should end with finding Petrovich. But you were too stubborn, and that was my mistake. I should have predicted you would not give up. I've had to come here from the US to stop you myself. To tell the truth, I was about to offer you to join. Of course you wouldn't. You're too young to fight the enemy you've never met. If I die here, Snake, you'll take over my mission. Sooner or later, it's our destiny. Embrace yourself.
So now you'll get the chance to see them again. You never wake up. Diana. You look better than I even imagined. What happened? Snake's heart was destroyed thanks to you. And what about Kyle and Jennifer? Kyle didn't get out in time. We researched the debris, but so far nothing. And Jennifer?
he followed him to the snake's heart. He didn't know. But it was just a mission. He had to let her go. A helicopter was waiting for him to take him home to be celebrated. But the only thing he was interested in was saying goodbye. He couldn't. The only thing he could do was to save her in his memory. Always remember her. From now on, he wasn't out. Not one soldier of many. He was solid snake. And what happened next, uncle? Well, that's a story for another day, Sonny. <laughs> <laughs>